Jessica Kringle, of course, most of you know me as Mrs. Claus, and we are counting down those magical days until Christmas by doing a different recipe each day. And so if you'd like to follow along, you can go to www.crafterscountdown.com to find those recipes. But let's find out which one we get to do today. So here's our advent calendar. We've almost done the whole first row, haven't we? And we are on December 9th. Oh, we are almost halfway there till Christmas. You know, Santa's working very hard out in the workshop. So let's find out what we're going to do today. Now this one's a fun one to say. It's called Panuche. Now, I heard some of the elves arguing out in the workshop the other day because some of them were saying it with a French accent, Panuche. And um, the others are like, no, it's Italian, Panuche. And so it's actually an Italian recipe. And even though my grandmother is not Italian, Grandma Helen likes to make this recipe. So let me go ahead and wash my hands and get the ingredients out and we will get started. All right, hands are clean and I've got the ingredients out. Now I've gone ahead and in my large saucepan, I've already combined my sugars into here. And so we're going to go ahead and turn this on to medium heat. And we're going to add salt and our light corn syrup. And our cream. And I like to pour that over the um, tablespoon so that it sort of gets some of that uh, corn syrup out of there. And we're going to stir this until the sugar is all dissolved. Now, this recipe is popular in the South and in the Eastern states of the United States. The brown sugar is what makes it so distinctive for a white chocolate. In some places in the United States, they add just a little bit of maple, which I absolutely love. If I weren't making my grandmother's recipe specifically, I would very much put maple in here. But right now in the United States, this seems to be most popular in Hawaii for some reasons. Even though it's an Italian confection, it has definitely made its way all through the United States, hasn't it? We have this dissolved, and now what we need to do is get our trusty candy thermometer out. We're going to cook this to 231 degrees, which is the soft ball stage. Place this in here. And we will stir this occasionally, so um, I will go ahead and do some of the Christmas magic, enjoy the music, and we will get this cooked. going to turn off the stove and move this over. We're going to set it on a cooling rack and then go ahead and add the butter that the recipe calls for and then just let that set until it is the bottom of the pan is lukewarm. Be very careful when you're trying to test this. Make really sure that you feel no heat coming from the sides and the top of it before you try to touch the bottom and see if it's lukewarm. All right, I'll be back with you in just a little bit while this cools. This is lukewarm on the bottom. It's easy to touch now. And what we're going to do is go ahead and add our vanilla. The instructions say to beat that until creamy. And 
then we need to spoon it into a 9 by 9 pan. And we'll spread this around. And then we have whole pecans so that we can use those to adorn it. And so we're just going to place these in here and give them a little press. And then we will let this cool completely before we go ahead and slice that into squares. Okay, so we've got this nice and cool now, and now I just need to cut it into the sections between the nuts that I put on here so that each one is adorned beautifully with a pretty little nut on top. So then I can share these with the elves because this is one of their favorites. Well, thank you so much for joining me, and I hope to see you tomorrow when we see what we get to bake for our sweets and treats countdown for Christmas. Thanks so much. Bye-bye. <laughs>